everybody, welcome back. Today I wanna to show you how to apply cream blush. So I love cream blush. It's probably one of my favorite products ever. I use it on myself pretty much every day and I use it on all of my clients regardless of their skin type, their age, or their skin tone. I love using a cream blush. Part of the reason why I love it is because it's really, the texture of it is so nice. It just kind of melts into the skin. It settles in really beautifully so that it looks like a natural flush on the cheek. Sometimes it can be a little tough with powders to make them look really seamless or natural. So these just kind of melt into the skin and just look like you have that natural glow about you, which I love. Um, Kosas is one of the brands I really love. I use their stuff all the time. They're a clean beauty brand. And these are such nice palettes because they come with a little blusher and with a highlighter, which I think is super cool. So if I'm ever, I usually keep this in my bag and then when I need to touch up or something or just wanna like refresh my skin, I'll just do a little dab of extra color and sometimes I'll throw it on my lips, throw it on my eyes. So that's the other thing about cream blush that I love is that it's so versatile. You can use it on different parts of the face, which is really cool. Um, another brand that I also really love is Milk Makeup. I really enjoy their cream blushers. Um, this is like their normal size, which is pretty huge, but it's pretty easy. It's easy to apply. You can just dab it on the cheek and then tap it in with your finger. So this is a really nice option. I actually also really enjoy their travel size ones, these little babies, because obviously they're great to carry around with you because they're smaller and more portable. And again, I don't need this much product. It's gonna take me a lifetime to get through this. So love that. But there's so many great cream blushes that I love, love, love. These just the two that I have available at this moment. So I'm gonna show you how to apply cream blush. So regardless of your age, especially, I mean, I especially think that cream blushes are great as we get older because you're losing so much moisture in your skin. You need to kind of gear more towards cream-based products. You wanna kind of bring that moisture back into the skin. And um, I feel like cream blushes are a great way to do that. So cream blushes can be applied any way you want. You can use your hands, you can use a brush, you can use a sponge, take your pick, pick your fancy, whatever you like. <laughs> it's such a personal thing. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that you can apply it and play with it. So to start, I have a few different colors here from Kosas that I'm gonna be playing with. This one is Tropic Equinox, so it's a little bit of a bronzier tone. And then this guy is obviously more of that peachy orange, and then this guy is more pink. So I think I'm gonna probably gear more towards my pinkier tone, because I love a little pink cheek, it's just my thing. And I might actually mix it with a little bit of this too, just for kicks. So if you're gonna go with your fingers, I always like to tap a little bit onto your finger, usually my middle or my ring, and I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit of product, so not much. And whenever I apply blush, regardless of what kind it is, I always like to smile and just hit that apple. And you're basically trying to keep any product within this one little spot, and then you're gonna blend it up and out to kind of get that youthful glow. So I always kind of like to keep a little finger depth from here to here. You don't wanna to get too close to the eye, and you don't wanna to get too close to the nose and the mouth because otherwise it's gonna look unnatural. So. I like to smile and then tap it right on the right on the fleshy part of that cheek. So I do a couple little taps to deposit some product, just like that. And then I'll go with my ring finger, which is clean at the moment, and blend it out. And I'm just doing little soft smudging motions. And I'm kind of making everything move up and out. So little taps. I'm not like aggressively wiping my, my skin because you don't want to get rid of the makeup. And then also around the edges, I like to just tap the edges with that clean finger too to soften it so you don't have like any harsh lines. And it gives this nice natural flush. Isn't that beautiful? It just melts right into that skin, baby. So something else, if you wanted to use a brush, um, I would say always gear more towards like a little synthetic fluffy brush. So this is from Real Techniques. I'm obsessed with this brush. I love it. I do use it quite a bit. This is great for cream or powder. And I love using it with cream blushes because it's kind of perfect. It fits right on that apple on my cheek and it blends out so seamlessly and so beautifully. So I'm actually gonna show you with the Tropic Equinox over here. So I, what I like to do is I like to just kind of give it a little swirl. I'm not applying a ton of pressure either. Just a really, really light, even pressure to kind of get a little bit of product on there. 
And I'm actually gonna use this as kind of like an accent color, almost like a contour sort of color. I just wanna add a little warmth and a little depth to my, to my face. So I'm just gonna kind of apply it right along my cheekbone here. Just kind of give a little extra oomph. And I'm just doing little circular motions and I'm bringing it again up and out. So I'm following it right into that hairline actually. Something you always wanna pay attention to when you're applying any sort of face products, you wanna blend it up and into the hairline or down onto the neck and the chest because you don't want any harsh lines. You want everything to be whoosh, seamless because that's how it's gonna look nice and natural. I also really love to bring cream blushes up into like my forehead, a little bit in here, you know? So just kind of like round out that color. I'm actually, I'm gonna do a tiny bit more. I'm just gonna add a little bit of warmth. I'm gonna add a little bit more up here because this is more of a bronzy tone so I can kind of have fun with it. And this is also really beautiful on the eyes too. Like if I can just take a little bit of this and just do a little tap, just to give a little color and it kind of creates this beautiful monochromatic makeup look. So look at that. So let's do the other side with just using the brush. I'm gonna go in, wrong color. We're gonna go back in with Eighth Muse, which is this beautiful pink. I'm just gonna use this brush. I'm using the same brush. I'm not really worried about mixing the colors right now. Get enough product on there, smile. Tap and start blending. And then sometimes when I do this, like if I feel like there's too much product on the brush or it's, it's not really moving around as much as I need it to, that's when I'll go in with like my hands or a sponge if you want and tap it out. And again, I'm mostly focusing on tapping those edges out so that they're not a harsh line. Ooh. It's just so pretty. I just love it so much. And then again, again, same brush. I'm going to go in with the other color to kind of buff in that little bit of contour. I'm not a huge contour person, um, especially on myself. I like to keep things pretty natural, but if I'm on camera or if I'm going to an event where I know I'm gonna be photographed, a little bit of contouring is kind of fun, right? But again, I like to keep it really soft and natural. All right, you can also incorporate a little bit on the nose too, just kind of round out that color. So there you have it, that's your cream blush. So you can use any tool you want, whatever you feel comfortable with. I just love them because they do melt into the skin. It looks very natural, it looks really soft, but it gives it a nice glow. Love a cream blush. If you haven't tried one already, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you found one that you do love. I love looking into new products. And if you want, give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for, for more. Every Sunday I'm gonna post new videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a great day. Bye.